Breathing is accomplished with the aid of muscle contractions and air pressure. In a resting state, the air pressure inside the lungs, called intrapulmonic pressure, approximates outside or atmospheric air pressure, while air pressure inside the pleural cavity, called intrapleural pressure, is slightly less. A barometer measures air pressure, and we will use a barometer to illustrate what happens as we breathe. During inspiration, that is, when we inhale, muscles attached to the chest wall, called intercostal muscles, and a wall of muscle that separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity, called the diaphragm, contract. This contraction enlarges the thoracic cavity, and as it expands, the pleural cavity also expands. As the pleural cavity expands, the intrapleural pressure drops, and the lungs consequently expand to fill the empty space. As the lungs expand, their pressure also drops. And this drop in intrapulmonary pressure draws in outside air until the atmospheric and intrapulmonic pressures are again equal. Expiration, or exhaling, is normally passive. As the diaphragm and intercostal muscles relax, the thoracic cavity contracts, and the intrapleural and intrapulmonary pressures rise above atmospheric pressure, forcing air out of the lungs. An average individual who is not running or doing heavy physical work processes about 12,000 liters of air per day through their lungs. This is enough air to fill a large living room, and approximately 600 liters of oxygen are extracted from this amount of air and transported by the circulatory system to our body's cells. In quiet breathing, the diaphragm moves only about 1.5 centimeters and expels only about half a liter of air with each expiration, leaving two and a half liters in the lungs. But during vigorous exercise, our muscles need extra oxygen to process more fuel, and we can inhale and exhale as much as four liters of air per breath. Involuntary respiration is controlled by the respiratory center located in a part of the brain called the brainstem. Although many different factors contribute in regulating respiration, including physical activity and emotions such as fear and anxiety, the respiratory center is primarily influenced by carbon dioxide levels in the arterial blood. As carbon dioxide levels increase, the brain prompts the diaphragm and intercostal muscles to contract, which, as we have seen, initiates inspiration. <laughs> 